So when using the tone function on SKN, we also have presets, but we have two different banks of presets as it were. So let's walk you through them. Now, first and foremost, when you first load your panel, you're not going to have any presets. If you want, you can load ours. Go to the top right of the panel itself, click on that, and you'll see load default presets. Go ahead and load those in. Those are just five that I came up with that I thought sort of work. By no means are there anything, you know, you shouldn't see those as like some kind of standard or they'll work perfectly for you. The core of SKN is flexibility. These are so you can see how presets work and you get an idea of what you can do, right? Keep them, try them, maybe you like them, modify them, whatever, but they're there if you want to try them out. Um, but you can save as many as you like. So let's walk through setting one up um, so we can save a preset and then we'll talk about the rest of it as well. So I'm not going to have any of them selected currently. I'm just going to hit play and run tone. Now, before this, I could have done a manual edit. I could have run SKN cleanup functions. I could have done anything else to get the skin cleaned up. And now I'm ready to tone. This is usually before I do any color grading on the entire shot, just to get a little bit of skin tone the way I want it. All right, so now it's run. That defaulted over here to grade, but we can go to tone. And we see that these two sections, tone and grade, I have all kinds of options on them, right? Now we have videos that go over what SKN tone does and how to use every single you know module to get the looks that you want we have videos on that but here i'm just going to get a quick look let's go ahead and just kind of deepen the skin a bit change saturation a bit maybe throw some color up at it change that tone there a little bit of highlight boost maybe i'm going to add a very subtle grade and a little bit of contrast and a little bit of luminosity sure why not okay so i went from that look to this look i feel it's pretty good didn't do any mask editing or tweaking i just i got something done okay cool even with the overall opacity i can take that down all these settings i've changed right so i can go back and then come here and hit plus and i can call this like i don't know general tone one it literally can call it whatever you want and hit save and there it is now it's saved okay all the presets you can keep making them they'll just scroll forever as many as you need do I think you'll need 200 of them? Probably not. But you have as many as you need there to, you know, call them at any moment. And that's the beauty of the presets. So I have general tone one, something I just made, right? But if I click on medium tan right now and hit play, it'll just quickly toggle over to those settings. Go back to general tone one, hit play. See that? All the settings get changed at once. Here's subtle tan. Okay. Here's subtle brightening. Okay. And medium brightening. These are ones you can try out like i said they come built in if you want to install them uh but they come straight from the server if you want to install them but when you make your own you can just sit here and toggle back and forth until you get something that you like that's what i think presets should be about exploration and playing so you can toggle back and forth now we have another set of presets if you go back to the advanced mode and come down here to adjust there's a preset button right here see this preset now we have some built in as well what are these presets specifically okay this section here with the highlights midtones and shadows it's our hsb replacement okay this is like the core tone change function these three luminosity ranges and the hsb replacement function this is like like i said the party piece of skn tone so sometimes you may want that baseline tone okay so let's go ahead and just kind of i don't know let's just reset everything for the moment all right, just kind of reset. Yeah, we got that reset, that reset, that reset. Grade, none of that, none of that, none of that, none of that. Okay, so I have it now baseline, except for the hue, obviously. Let me just fix that real quick. All right, there we go. Now, it's all nothing, right? But if I come here and go, okay, I usually, for, maybe not for a specific set that you want every detail, but maybe in general, I tend to deepen my skin tones like that. And I tend to add a little bit of color and I shift them towards yellow, more towards the yellow tones. That's just what I like for the most part. This is what I tend to do. Um, despite everything else I might do, I like this. Okay, we'll go to presets and add one. Boop, and now you have it there. This is also for toggling. Okay, so you can keep pushing these to get an idea of what your baseline should be. These demos that are in here, like I said, they might work for your image, they might not, but you can make your own. At any moment, you can just kind of option and click one and you can choose to exit out and say, never mind. Or when you option click, hit the check mark and you can delete it. Check mark to delete it, right? So you can always make more. So these are like, like I said, the HSB core function presets in case you have a tendency for using, like I said, this tri range core look across everything that you do, or maybe your outdoor stuff versus your studio stuff. 
etc. However you want to use it, the option is there. I felt it necessary to have presets for the HSB replacement. I thought that was pretty cool. And my team, you know, hit me with this possibility. I said, yes, I think that works really well to have the tri range presets. You definitely don't ever have to use them, but they're there if you want them. Now, quick final comment, because our beta team and other people have already asked on our gradient presets, people ask, can we make our own? Well, here's why we're not doing that, at least for now. OK, when you have all this flexibility on the normal tone advanced options, all these HSB replacements, hue shifting, etc., you have so many possibilities of getting so many type of skin tones that between that and our 25 presets here, which we curated carefully, these are not just random skin tones. We thought this is a nice balance and they tend to work well uh, for adding a secondary grade. And that's the whole point secondary grade. We're not replacing the skin tone with these. We click one and we add a wash of it using a different blend mode. OK, depending on what you like, you can play around with it and see. So between the all the settings here on the normal advanced section of tone and the grade section, you can make quite literally infinite variations on skin tone. OK, so we thought too many presets is going to get confusing. At least that was my thought. And these 25 have been tested extensively over thousands of images. And we like the little subtle effect that they can add. You don't have to have them. You just double click gradient presets and you can see it's all gray, nothing there. You don't have to have them. So these aren't a replacement for this, for these functions. These functions are the core. This is where you can really do your light shaping and toning and modeling to get the look that you really want in the skin. This is for an extra wash of color. And these 25 tend to do the job pretty darn well. Uh, so that's why we don't have presets at the moment. If for some reason the user base determines that these gradients should be customizable and we get a lot of demand for that, then we will consider that, of course. But at the moment, we didn't want every subsection to have a preset or something like that. I felt like it was a little too cluttered. You can literally get any result with the tools like they are. So I wanted to show you that. That is, of course, the tone presets. If you're experimenting and have a lot of dummy presets not worth a darn, you can tap the top right menu again and say delete all presets. And that, of course, delete everything. So be mindful of that. That is kind of an all or nothing thing. But if you do have them, let me load them real quick. If you do have one and you want to change it or delete it, you can right click it like subtle brightening You can right click it. You can make it a favorite. You can rename it and you can hit delete, say yes, and it's gone. So you can manage your presets pretty well. Uh, and like I've mentioned in other videos in the future, if the user base demands it. We might make some kind of categorization or folders or something for presets if that's what people want. But for the most part, having a preset at all for these functions is huge because we used to have a similar function in some actions. We've advanced that function, made it a lot better, made it a lot faster. And now you can save a preset, which makes it much more useful. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we will keep SKN videos coming pretty, pretty often. There's a lot to it and we have a lot of feedback from people already.